At CERN's Large Hadron Collider, LHC, researchers have uncovered the crucial role of the top quark in advancing our understanding of quark-gluon plasma, the extremely hot, dense state of matter thought to have existed just moments after the Big Bang. The top quark stands out as the heaviest elementary particle discovered so far, significantly outweighing all other types of quarks. What makes the top quark particularly valuable in these studies is its incredibly rapid decay process. Scientists explain that the top quark decays into a W boson and a bottom quark so swiftly that this happens even before the quark gluon plasma has fully formed. Specifically, the top quark's lifespan is so brief that the plasma cannot influence it directly. Instead, the decay products of the W boson start interacting with the plasma only after it begins to form. This precise timing acts like a natural stopwatch for physicists, enabling them to measure and track how the quark-gluon plasma evolves and changes over time. By analyzing these interactions, scientists gain vital insights into the behavior and properties of this primordial state of matter, shedding light on conditions that shaped the early universe. Not all galaxies are created equal. Astronomers generally classify them into three main categories, elliptical, irregular, and spiral galaxies. Among these, spiral galaxies dominate the cosmos, accounting for about 70% of all known galactic structures. Our own Milky Way is a prime example of this type. Spiral galaxies are distinguished by a bright, densely packed central bulge, composed mainly of older stars. Extending outward from this core are several gracefully curving spiral arms, where star formation is actively taking place. Interestingly, this stellar activity increases the farther you move from the center. While the core is populated by ancient stars, the spiral arms are home to much younger, newly forming ones. This distribution of stars and matter makes spiral galaxies incredibly complex systems, the result of billions of years of cosmic evolution. Galaxies don't start out this way. In their early stages, they appear as chaotic, irregular clumps of stars. Over time, these clumps gradually flatten into disks, and only after several billion years do the iconic spiral arms and the central bulge begin to emerge. Or at least, that was the prevailing theory, until now. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have spotted something in the early universe that challenges this timeline. During a large-scale panoramic survey, a research team led by Manguan Shirao from the University of Geneva set out to locate unusually bright, ancient galaxies. Their goal was to better understand how these cosmic giants formed and evolved. What they found, however, was unexpected, spiral galaxies that appear far too early in the universe's history, seemingly defying the slow, gradual formation models we've long accepted. And for good reason, Webb has already uncovered a number of galactic infants that are challenging our current understanding of cosmic evolution. As mentioned earlier, these are puzzling objects that seem far too massive and packed with stars for their age, just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. According to existing models, there shouldn't have been enough normal matter at that time to form galaxies of such size. Yet, Shurau's team made a remarkable discovery, though not in the way they expected. They ultimately identified a spiral galaxy that existed just one billion years after the Big Bang, and it turned out to be surprisingly large, massive, and well-developed. Meet Zulong, the impossible twin of the Milky Way. Its name translates to Torch Dragon, and it's an enormous structure spanning roughly 600,000 light-years and housing over 100 billion solar masses worth of stars. In other words, this ancient spiral galaxy is nearly the same size as our modern-day Milky Way. Researcher Shirao describes the astonishing similarity like this, this galaxy is the best analog to the Milky Way ever discovered in the early universe. Its shape, size, and stellar mass are strikingly similar. What makes it even more extraordinary is that this galactic twin appears fully developed. Unlike other massive galaxies from the early cosmos, Zulong is remarkably advanced. It features a mostly dormant central bulge, a star-forming disk, and well-defined spiral arms, structural features that span the entire galaxy. In short, Zulong is now the earliest known galaxy to display this level of complexity, 
and it's also the earliest spiral galaxy ever identified. To say this discovery is surprising would be an understatement. Up until now, astronomers believed such mature structures couldn't exist so early in cosmic history. As co-author Christina Williams from NOIR Lab in Arizona explains, it's generally thought that it takes billions of years for galaxies to evolve into this kind of structure. Zulong now proves that such development can occur in under a billion years. And, as has become almost routine with Webb's surprising findings, scientists are left puzzled, wondering how such a discovery is even possible. What is clear, however, is that this spiral galaxy must have evolved at a pace ten times faster than modern galaxies to reach its current structure and size. Yet, the mechanism behind this rapid evolution remains unknown, leaving astronomers to speculate how Zulong defied the standard models of galaxy formation. Early theories suggest it may have resulted from mergers with other young galaxies or from developmental processes that no longer exist in today's universe. Now, researchers are turning to the James Webb Space Telescope in hopes of identifying other rapidly maturing galaxies in the early cosmos, aiming to uncover more clues. They also stress that this surprising find further illustrates how dramatically Webb is reshaping our understanding of the early universe. In fact, this discovery could suggest something far more profound. It raises the possibility that our universe itself might be inside a black hole. At first glance, that idea sounds absurd, after all, black holes are seen as monstrous cosmic predators, swallowing everything in their path. And that reputation is well earned. But that's only part of the story. Black holes can also host stable orbits and sit quietly at the centers of nearly all galaxies. More importantly, we still have no real idea what lies within them. Unless, of course, your name is Nico Demi, and you believe our universe was born in the heart of a gravitational behemoth. According to this theoretical physicist from the University of New Haven, the matter constantly devoured by black holes doesn't vanish into nothingness. Instead, it's compressed to an extreme point, until the crushing force can go no further. This results in what could be described as a cosmic ocean. At that point, the black hole's insane rotational speed halts the compression. As this monstrous object spins at nearly the speed of light, intense torsional forces begin to act on the dense core inside. Eventually, this pressure may cause the core to rupture, leading to what we traditionally call the Big Bang, or perhaps more accurately, a Big Bounce. In this view, a black hole could be a transitional phase between two universes, a one-way cosmic portal. Sounds thrilling, right? But also a bit far-fetched. So, is there any actual evidence that gives this theory real weight? Surprisingly, yes. A research team led by Lur Shamir from Kansas State University recently made an intriguing discovery. They studied over 260 ancient galaxies in a region known as the Jade's Field, an area previously observed by the James Webb Space Telescope. What they found was fascinating, most of these early galaxies seem to rotate in the same direction. About two-thirds spin clockwise, while only a third go the other way. This makes the situation even more puzzling, as the observed motion contradicts what we would naturally expect. In a randomly structured universe, galaxy rotations should be evenly distributed. But since that's clearly not what we're seeing, scientists are exploring explanations for this unexpected imbalance. Currently, two main theories are being debated. The first suggests that the irregularity might stem from observational bias. Specifically, the Doppler effect could cause galaxies moving toward us to appear brighter than those moving away, skewing the data and making it seem like more galaxies rotate in one direction than actually do. The second theory is a bit more intriguing. It draws from Paplowski's hypothesis, which proposes that our universe may have emerged from a rotating black hole, meaning the cosmos itself could have inherited this original spin. Experts suggest that this concept aligns with Schwarzschild cosmology, a theory proposing that our entire universe exists within a black hole inside a much larger, parent, universe. Within this framework, each black hole could serve as a gateway to a separate sub-universe or baby universe. The spin of the original black hole would then influence the dominant rotational direction of galaxies within the new universe. Physicist Nikodem Poplowski has also weighed in on this fascinating idea. He noted that a preferred axis in our universe, possibly inherited from the black hole's own rotation, 
may have affected the way galaxies spin, potentially explaining the imbalance we observe between clockwise and counterclockwise rotations. As bizarre as the notion of living inside a black hole may sound, it might actually reflect reality.